If you've ever been tired and rubbed your eyes, you may have noticed random shapes, colors, and light. They may have looked a little something like this. These are phosphenes, your personal northern lights show. To understand why we see light visions with our eyes closed, first we need to understand how we usually see the world with our eyes open. We are able to see images because of the light that objects reflect. When objects reflect light, this light enters our eyes and allows us to see them. This is a side view of an eye. Reflected light passes through the eye and is projected onto the retina. Light activates neurons in the back of the retina, known as cones and rods, which convert the light energy into neural impulses. This chemical reaction in turn activates bipolar cells, which activate the ganglion cells. The axons, or tail-like parts of the ganglion cells, come together to form the optic nerve which carries neural impulses from the retina to the brain. The thalamus receives information from the retina, and this information is then relayed to the visual cortex of the brain. The visual cortex will process the visual information to turn it into the images we see. So now we know that light reflected off of objects causes chemical reactions in the retina, and neural impulses then travel to the brain through the optic nerve. The brain processes this information and lets us see objects. But why do we see phosphenes with our eyes closed, no light entering? Research suggests that phosphenes occur when the brain processes biophotonic light. Biophotons are light particles produced within the body and some are produced by the retina when our eyes are closed. This is different than ordinary light reflected by objects. This light comes from inside your eyes. Atoms of cells in the retina and visual system emit, absorb, and exchange many biophotons. Placing any type of pressure on the eye, such as rubbing the eyes, sneezing hard, or getting whacked in the head, you generate an excess amount of biophotons, which the cones and rods then convert into neural impulses. The brain attempts to reconstruct the image to allow us to see by using the visual information received from the retina through the optic nerve. But when the reconstructed image looks like nonsense, the brain labels it as fake, a phosphine which we see as weird images that don't make sense. Phosphenes have different colors because different atoms and molecules within the body emit biophotons of different wavelengths, and they come in different shapes and patterns depending on where in the body the biophotons are produced. Most of the phosphenes we see are from biophotons generated by the retina, but they can come from other parts of the visual system. While we discussed phosphenes caused by pressure, phosphenes can also be induced by electric stimulation of the brain when electrodes are placed near the optic nerve and certain medical conditions, such as multiple sclerosis due to the inflammation of the optic nerve. Now that you know what phosphines are, go ahead, rub your eyes for a bit, and enjoy your own personal light show.